Hey everyone. So for those who don't know, I am the manager of the campus suites here at Bogibba Community College. And I'm gonna give you guys a short tour now of the dorms. So before we even begin, out here outside, we do have a fire pit that is built. When the weather is nice like this and we have access to it, we usually do s'mores or ice cream and or ice cream around the fire every Sunday to kick off the week on a positive note. And as you can see behind me, there's a bunch of vehicles. We do not require a permit to be hung up or there is no cost. The parking is free. So that is one benefit already to living in the dorms here. So we're just gonna head on in. And we do have two sets of doors. So we have our lounge here when you first walk in. And one thing I do like to point out right away is that we are gonna be updating this furniture here. I feel like the designs aren't the greatest and I wanna make it a little bit more cozy in here. So we have our whiteboard, important information here, and I'm actually going to bring you guys upstairs. So upstairs we have an information bulletin board here. We have important local information, we have who's on shift, we have upcoming activities, and then this is our lounge. So again, trying to update this furniture here, feel like it looks a little outdated honestly. So we're working on getting some couches, some nicer furniture up here. But we have a smart TV right behind me there as well as an Xbox. Now, one thing I always try to push with my students here in the dorms is that if they have an idea of how we can improve or something that would be nice, even if it's not in the dorms, just on campus, to please share it because this Xbox was an idea from the residents. We have residents right now that are looking at possibly planting some more trees outside. We ended up getting an air fryer in our canteen. So, that's one thing, please, 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 always try to push if you have ideas to share them. So, we also have a computer up here for students to work on, as well as some, sh some books. It's not a lot, but basically the gist of it is to take a book, enjoy reading it, and replace it when finished. If there is any books that somebody does not need, they can drop them off and they don't need to leave a book to take a book. I figure it's like a free little library here in the dorms. Another thing up here, we have a bunch of board games, so if anyone wants to play board games as a group at some point. And the way the dorms work here is that the second floor the upstairs is all single rooms. So, if someone pays for a single room, they're only going to be sharing their bathroom and kitchen with potentially one other person. Along with this, there's less foot traffic upstairs, which then makes it quieter downstairs. Now, our rooms, our suites, go by the same gender. So, the kitchen and bathroom is going to be shared with the same gender. But, the floor itself is a mix. So as we make our way down the hallway of the first floor here, we have our mailboxes. They are pretty small, but one of the main questions I get is, can you have packages? Can your parents send you care packages? Can you order some packages from Amazon? Absolutely. It doesn't matter how big it is, doesn't matter how heavy it is. Myself and the RAs pick up the packages from our mail room and keep them in a small storage here in the dorms. And we simply put a slip in your mailbox saying, hey, you have a package, please meet with us. So 
As we make our way down the hall, the first room on the left here is my room. Having a bunch of pictures of Rocky, pictures from my adventures, pictures from New York City. So I do live right here on campus. And that way, if there's ever an emergency or anything like that too, students can quickly find and get a hold of me. And then right next to my room, this is actually on the opposite side of this wall is my bedroom. We have our washers and dryers. We have two washers and dryers and they are not quarter operated. So another way to save some money by living in the dorms here. All you have to do is buy your softener and your laundry detergent. So I'm gonna bring you guys in a room here to kind of give you an idea of what it may look like. Now, the bed behind me here, that is the, so the height that all beds come at when a student moves in. If a student wants it raised or even lowered, myself and the RAs will help them with that during move-in. So you have the first bed here, and right across from that is a counter with a sink and a mirror so you can brush your teeth, do your hair, stuff like that. And on the end of the bed is a small closet and you can actually hang up clothes and stuff in the closet as well. So as we make our way on the opposite half, separated by this wall, is our second bed. Now this is an example of what a raised bed might look like. Lots of people take their dressers and keep them underneath there. And by raising the bed, you also can access your desk. Now, there is a wall here between the kitchen door and the counter. This is normally not here. Most of the rooms don't have this. So if you didn't want your bed raised or say you had a single room, you could actually take your desk and put it between the kitchen door and the counter. And another option is these dressers here, right behind me, fit perfectly in these closets. So that is something that we could also help people move around and rearrange. And then as we make our way this way, you have my favorite part of the dorms, the kitchen. I feel like it makes it feel a little bit more like home and you don't have the entire building fighting over the stove top or the fridge or anything like that. Um, you have it right here. And again, if you're in a single room, you only share the kitchen with up to one other person. So it's a pretty nice setup. And then as we make our way, this would be your sweet mate's room. So this is what the room looks like when you first move in. The dresser and desk is underneath the bed there and they're at that height. So again, if a student wanted raised, lowered, the dressers moved, the desk moved, me and the RAs help do that during move-in. So making our way this way now, we go back and we are suddenly in the bathroom. So this bathroom is a little bit bigger because it does have a disabled seat for anyone who has disabilities. Um, so the shower is a little bit bigger and thus the bathroom is a little bit bigger, but more or less that is about the size of a bathroom. Now we do allow emotional support animals. If anyone has the proper paperwork, they can have an emotional support animal here on campus, whether that's a cat or a dog. And some other things, we did have a canteen in the kitchen here. We used to charge the same exact price as Walmart and the idea was quick and easy foods. That way if someone was studying for exams, they can quickly um, meet with me or the RAs and get something to eat without having to run all the way to the store. But no one has really used that this year. So we're looking at putting food from our food pantry in a cabinet up here in the upstairs lounge. So that is basically the dorms. You have the single rooms upstairs, doubles down here. So if you were on the first floor, you'd have a roommate here, yourself, and potentially, most likely, two other people on the opposite side for a total of four people sharing your kitchen and bathroom. 
And yeah, we do activities every single week. We do art night, movie nights. On the upstairs TV, we do have, since that is a smart TV, we have YouTube, stuff like that. On occasion, students will watch my YouTube channel. Um, other than that, we have the Hulu Plus uh, package, which includes Hulu Plus, Disney Plus, and ESPN Plus. So sometimes we'll get together and watch TV shows and movies. So that is the Campus Suites here at Go Give It Community College.